हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द रिवीजन फॉर योर एफ ए टू टेस्ट सो इन साइंस सब्जेक्ट देर आर टू लेसन फॉर योर एफ ए टू टेस्ट डेट इज लेसन नंबर टू डाइजेशन एंड लेसन नंबर थ्री टिथ एंड माइक्रोब्स आई विल गिव यू अ क्विक रिविजन ऑफ लेसन नंबर टू डाइजेशन टूडे देन वी विल डिस्कस द रिविजन क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव सो you know the food that you eat cannot be used directly to give you the energy so it is to be digested so what is digestion the breaking down of food into simpler form inside our body is called digestion and to help this digestion one organ is not responsible there are many organs which helps in digestion and that forms the digestive system so these are the organs of digestive system like mouth food pipe stomach small intestine salivary glands liver pancreas large intestine and anus you can very well see in the picture also so the digestion starts in the mouth when you chew your food teeth break the food into simpler pieces so first you <clears throat> first you chew your food and you keep on chewing and the teeth break the food into smaller pieces and it gets mixed with the saliva saliva is the digestive juice that is found in the mouth saliva, saliva is made by salivary glands and teeth tongue helps to mix the food with the saliva saliva helps to break down the starch into soluble sugar <clears throat> so that is why if you eat anything of a starch like bread or or a wheat uh, a chapati so you will feel something sweet though it is not sweet but you will feel you will taste something sweet so it is because the <clears throat> saliva breaks down the starch into soluble sugar and this softened food can be swallowed easily tongue also helps to push food into the thin long tube called the food pipe you can see the food pipe in the picture then after this the food passes into the stomach through the food pipe now what is stomach stomach is a bag like organ it is a soft bag like organ and the muscles of the stomach turns the food with more digestive juices there are more digestive juices present in the stomach also they also start the food uh, digesting the food and they break down the proteins and fats into simpler substances and food remains in the stomach for up to 3 hours so you will feel full up to 3 hours after eating this is how digestion in the stomach takes place after the after the digestion in the stomach the food moves to the small intestine that is the organ which is which is in a form of long coiled tube you know have you have seen a uh, tube coiled tube of a telephone wire it is coiled okay in the same way small a small intestine also looks like a coiled tube okay and food passes from the stomach into the small intestine now liver and pancreas they are the two glands which produces juices okay they pour juices into the small intestine and then again food mixes with these juices and is completely digested so after digestion digested food now in now is in a simple soluble form okay and is absorbed into the blood blood can only absorb if the food is in a simple soluble form and then blood carries the digested food to all parts of our body and digested this digested food is used to produce energy so this is how we get the energy now what about undigested food some parts of the food cannot be digested by your body so they passes into a pipe like organ called the large intestine mm -hmm. and the solid waste that remain passes out of the body through anus whatever waste is that is not digested is is removed from our body through anus vegetables and fruits 
are very important for our diet you know that and they have the phage or so called the fibers but body cannot digest the fibers but these fibers are important mm -hmm. to remove the waste from our body also you should uh, you should <clears throat> have some good habits while eating your food that is never be in a hurry to finish your food you should e eat at regular fixed timings you should chew your food properly before swallowing it also you should not jump or run uh, immediately after you have eaten otherwise you will get the stomach ache so all these good habits you should have while eating your food now i am giving you some revision questions okay in the form of multiple choice questions i will read and i will also explain to you and i'll give the correct answer here i am ticking the correct answer but in the in the fa2 test you have to tick the correct option okay so first one food is absorbed into the blood through the walls of the three options are there pancreas liver small intestine what is the correct answer pancreas uh, small intestine is the correct answer pancreas and liver is not the correct answer so i am taking small intestine right another next one digestion starts in the options are liver stomach or mouth so digestion starts in the mouth so i am taking mouth saliva is produced by the dash saliva is produced by the dash i just told you what is the correct answer salivary glands food pipe or stomach yes salivary glands is the correct answer now dash starts breaking down the proteins and fats into simpler substances options are stomach food pipe liver what starts uh, breaking down the proteins and fats stomach yes so stomach i am taking so stomach is the correct answer next one dash carries the digested food to all parts of the body what takes digested part a uh, di digested food liver blood key fats what is the correct option blood so i am taking blood carries digested food to all parts of the body next dash is not a part of the digestive system i told you what are the organs of the digestive system okay so the options here are stomach food pipe and lungs so what is not a part of the digestive system the correct option is lungs so lungs is the correct answer lungs is not a part of the digestive system right now we will move to next oh just a minute yes so next is which of this is the main function of large intestine options are to absorb water to produce saliva or to digest food so the correct answer is to absorb water so the correct option here is to absorb water that i am taking next one which liquid mixes with food in our mouth water milk or saliva so you know saliva is present in the our mouth so saliva is the correct option saliva mixes with food in our mouth next tube like structure which is present in our digestive system is called dash options are tongue food pipe or stomach you know tongue what is the structure of tongue stomach also i told you it is a bag like so food pipe you just saw in the figure a pipe like structure that is it is a tube like structure so it is the food pipe is the correct option next one the stomach secretes dash juices 
digestive pineapple or apple which is the correct option yes obviously digestive juices so digestive juices i am taking so this is how we, you have to tick the uh, <coughs> answer the mcqs there you will click on the correct option here i have done the done it in this way so now we will move to the next one that is <clears throat> now it is true or false blood carries the digestive food to all parts of the body tell me whether it is true or false it is true next fibers are of no importance to our body true or false it is false because fibers are of importance to our body you should not chew your food properly before swallowing it whether it is true or false it is false because you should chew your food properly before swallowing it next one the digested food is absorbed into the blood through the walls of the small intestine it is true or false it is true because the digested food is absorbed into the blood through the walls of small intestine another your body cannot directly use the food that you eat to give you energy is correct yes it is true it is the fuel of body has has to digest the food so that it can give you the energies it cannot use it directly so this is true hmm now next one water carries the digested food to all parts of the body true of false does water carries no blood carries so this is false this is false there are several organs in the body to help in digestion yes it is true many organs are involved in the digestive systems another saliva is produced in the stomach saliva is produced in the stomach true or false it is false so saliva is produced in the mouth next is bread is rich in starch so it tastes test sweet after we chew it yes it is true because it is made up of starch and as soon as we chew it saliva converts it into the soluble sugar next one teeth pushes the food into the food pipe it is false because teeth only chew the food okay next one digested food is in the soluble form yes it is in the soluble form then only it gets it gets absorbed into the blood so digested food is in the soluble form is the true we should be in a hurry to finish our food tell me you should be in a hurry no we should not be in a hurry to finish our food so it is false our body cannot digest fiber it is true our body cannot digest fiber so true next we should jump or run immediately after eating is it correct no we should not jump so this is false the sharp front teeth help to bite and cut the food yes the sharp front teeth that are there they cut the food <coughs> so which we can chew so it is true so this is how you are going to do the true and false okay by ticking the correct option there you have to click on the correct option whether it is true or false now next one hmm. 
yes see now another revision question is identify the given figure by ticking the right option see here different organs are given right three organs are given which are the part of the digestive system and you have to tell which is the correct okay so first one is pointed and the options are given tongue or food pipe tell me which what is what is it is it a tongue or is it a food pipe it is a food pipe yes it is not a tongue it is a food pipe so i am click ticking it food pipe here another one is small intestine or liver it is small intestine i told you it is a coil like structure so it is the small intestine okay next one is it stomach or large intestine it is large intestine i told you stomach is a bag like structure so this is a large intestine this is how you will do this this question of identify the given figure okay now see some of you may not have got the textbooks from the shop so i am here giving you the textbook pages i have attached the textbook pages so that if you have any difficulty you can go through these pages and you can learn okay i'll just scroll it okay this is the second page then this is the third page is the fourth page so i hope you understood in the next uh, lesson next period i am going to discuss some more revision questions in the form of filling the blanks and then i will also do the revision of our next lesson that is teeth and microbes until then you revise what i have done today okay and take care bye Thank you.